I'm gonna be taking a lot of breathing breaks because this is hard to breathe with. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I got myself a new Canon camera for my YouTube videos, so kind of feeling pretty special right now, feeling like a real YouTuber. I am 34 weeks pregnant today. I am really excited to be shooting this video. I've been wanting to share this with you guys forever, and I finally can. Today, I am showing you the nursery. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so the nursery is on kind of like the wing of the house. First of all, the wing, that sounds very fancy. I'm, I just didn't know what else to call it. Half of the house is where all the bedrooms are and the other half is like where everything else is. One day I'll do a home tour. I should, I should probably do that, but we still have a lot to do on this house, so not yet. <laughs> The nursery. Ugh, I just love walking by this room. I literally just think it is so special. First of all, the lighting is gorgeous. We love it in here so much. So the first thing I picked out in this room is actually the rug. I So I had wanted to buy it for the master bedroom. I just really loved it. And when I got it, I immediately said, this is for the nursery. It's super fluffy and plushy and it'll be so comfortable for him to hang out. And ever since I got that, I kind of just like went with the rest of the rooms. Okay, so another really important thing for me when I was decorating this room was the drawers. So my thought process was that I wanted to buy a set of drawers that would grow up with him. So I didn't want to get a changing table specific dresser. And I saw this one on Pottery Barn. I think it was the a collection with Pottery Barn Kids did with West Elm. Not sure. I have to check on that. But I got this and I just could like picture him just being like a teenager with it and I just am getting emotional already. Let's see what we have inside. Inside I already have it filled with all of his onesies. I separated it by ages. So these are like zero to three. These are three to six. These are six to nine. Diapers are all ready. Water wipes, burping cloths. So on top of the dresser, we have, <gasps> hi birdie, come in here. Okay, goodbye. So <laughs> we have the mirror. I got a Kikaroo changing table. This was on my registry. My favorite things on my registry blog post will be coming soon. We have this tiny cute little plant and I'm sure I'll probably move this when he's here, but for now I think it's really cute. That little pot was a gift from Spence and Tay Studios. And this cute little elephant we have back here was actually Daniel's when he was a baby. So there's a lot of stuff in the room that was actually ours when we were kids. So it's really like a lot of sentimental stuff in here that I will get to. So we have this cute little basket. This was actually Daniel's grandmother that is filled with some of his essentials so far that I picked up. CeraVe baby lotion, you guys know I love CeraVe. A uh, little Mega Babe hand sanitizer, Hypette baby oil, Earth Mama diaper balm and some more wipes. Over in this corner, just the cute lamp we have. It has like a marble base, a diaper genie, and this cute little hamper for all his dirty clothes. So I told you guys I got this Pottery Barn West Elm dresser. And let me just tell you, it was meant to be because our very good friends who have a three-year-old son, they were extremely kind and gave us their old crib, which just so happened to be the matching crib. Like, come on, how good is that? Here it is. So far, we just have this cute little bunny in there that will be leaving once he's using this crib, but he won't be using it for quite some time. We have his little monitor set up already. We went with the Nanit Smart Baby Monitor. Stressed me out a little bit because his outlet is very close to the crib. So we set up this like high tech um, contraption that hopefully he cannot break through. But we're thinking that 
when he's actually using the crib, we're gonna like pull the crib out a little bit more. A little bit of a stressful situation. There's actually an outlet on every single wall. So we didn't really have any choice. And as we keep going around the room, we have this gigantic plush lion that my brother and future sister-in-law bought us and it's just so perfect. A little bit of an inside joke, but uh, we love it. It's, we have a little rubber plant. Oh, my Yeti. And then this little old milk crate we made into a little bookshelf. Eventually we might get something bigger as he gets more stuff, but for now this is perfect. And we have one of these little hatch lights on top. And then here, my little corner that some of you already saw on my Instagram. We have this really nice rocking chair that I pretty much sit in every day and just fantasize about what it's gonna be like when he's here. With this great little ottoman, one of my favorite things in here is this cute giraffe basket. And it's filled with a little, all the little toys that we received so far, like Sophia, which is supposedly the toy of 2020, but I have no idea what this is. It squeaks and we have it and a couple other things in there. So I would say that our nursery isn't like the babiest. I feel like it's a bit more mature. We decided to go for black and white art. I really can't remember where we read it, but we read an article that said black and white art is really stimulating for babies. So I really wish I could share it with you guys and say that it's actually a reputable source. We read it and we just went with it. So we chose a couple of Daniel's prints. Right at the crib, we have a New York City skyline because New York City is where Daniel and I met and spent most of our young adult lives. <laughs> Over here, we have two prints from our trip to San Francisco. He took this while we were on a trolley. And here's one of Sears Fine Foods, which was a place we went to in San Francisco and we have just really great memories of it. So we have those three pieces of art. And then over here we have this really great macrame art. It was a gift from my friend Grace. It was a housewarming gift and when I saw it I was like, oh my god, it's so perfect for the nursery. And then we had this big shelf that was already in this room when we moved in. We just had it painted white, it used to be black. We have it filled with just like all of the things. So <laughs> a lot of little like tchotchkes and things from my baby shower, like this thing has little notes from all my friends on it. Um, a picture of mom and dad. These were my stuffed animals. This is a puppy puppy, pretty much was attached to my hip most of my childhood. This sign was from the baby shower, a bunch of K decorations, baby Krieger. Uh, so there are a couple Ks in here. Stuffed animals that have all been gifts from friends. My little birdie portrait. I have some cards here. This is like a paper doll thing that was made for Daniel as a gift. The little boy is right here and these kooky books that were Daniel's favorite as a kid. So it's just like a bunch of little cute tchotchke memories up here that were important to us. And the last thing we have in here is his closet. When we were first looking at this house, we fell in love with the closets. Every closet in this house is really big and had all of these built-ins which is like a dream come true. So it's kind of, you know, just filled with random things right now. And we have just like a lot of diapers. This is a Solly baby wrap. Uh, we got a ton of shoes, a ton of hand-me-downs. I can't even handle. Look how cute these are. I'm just, oh, so cute. We have some of my pretty floral print swaddles and just like random things throughout here. The drawers are just filled with clothes. We've been getting a lot of clothes from friends. We've been getting a lot of hand-me-downs. So we have so much stuff. So grateful for that. All of these things here are clothes. Like, could you die? How cute! His high chair is in here for now because obviously we don't need it yet. So this is his cute little closet. So that is Final Spin, the nursery. We cannot wait 
until little baby boy Krieger is in this room and we are doing what new parents do. <laughs> like, we're just so happy and we love it and I'm so happy I could share it with you guys. I will make sure to link anything that is still available. That's it for me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me at Maxi Green on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. You're sweet and you're sweet. <laughs>